Welcome. I am Father Swani Sebastian. I am a Divine Word Missionary Priest. So nice to share this reflection with you. Your daily reflection I got today. Today's reading follows immediately after the short account of Jesus' baptism and temptations in the desert that Mark gives. It is the beginning of his public ministry. The reading consists of two main parts, a summary of Jesus' teaching and the first response to it. As the passage of opens, we are told that John, had, John, John the Baptist has been arrested. So Jesus begins his public ministry by proclaiming the gospel, the good news, the good news of God. It is summed up in the words, the time, Kairos, has come and the kingdom is close at hand. Repent and believe in the good news. It is so simple a statement, but is so rich in its meaning. One can say that the whole of the gospel message is contained in these two sentences. We may comment on the following words, Kairos, Kingdom, Repent and Believe in. The time of fulfillment. This is the translation of the Greek word Kairos. Kairos refers to a moment when something is ripe to happen. It is a lucky moment. And that exactly describes the appearance of Jesus. An appearance which the whole of the old covenant has been preparing and waiting for and also leading up to. The kingdom of God is at hand. Meaning, the whole of Jesus' message centers around the idea of the kingdom of God. It was the coming of that kingdom which he proclaimed. It was the core of Jesus' own teaching. Kingdom here does not refer to a place. It points to the ruling power of God, the power based above all, above everything, the power of God's love. Wherever the love of God prevails in our world, we can say that the kingdom of God, the kingdom is there. The love essentially involves other people. So the kingdom is not a place or an action, but a harmonious and interacting relationships with others. Jesus came to call every single person to belong to such a world, to such a kingdom. So it is the reign of, death, of God. The next word is repent. Here we have the basic steps that need or that is needed to become fully in, you know, fully in this kingdom or to, be, to become fully part of this kingdom. First, we need to repent. Repent means for most people being sorry for something that I have done in my past. This is not excluded, but it really means a radical change in one's thinking in this case, about the meaning and purpose of one's life, how that life is to be lived. So Jesus is calling for a radical conversion and to embrace his vision of life. And finally, uh, to believe in the gospel. And how is this radical change to be achieved? And that is what believing in. By believing in the gospel, for many Christians, belief means the total acceptance of the teachings of Christ as interpreted for us by the church. But something more is asked of us here. We are asked not just to believe, but to believe in. It is one thing to believe something, but it, is, but it may not affect our lives very much. But to believe in the message that the gospel brings, we are asked for a total investment, an immersion of ourselves and not just accepting as doctrines. We are called to live our lives and pattern it after the model of Jesus himself. The second part of the reading gives us a dramatic example of some people who did just what Jesus was asking for, the calling of his first disciples. Jesus said to them, come after me and I will make you fishers of people. 
there and then they dropped their nets their whole means of livelihood and went after jesus so the emphasis here is the total commitment to the way and vision of jesus which is symbolized by the total abandoning of the boats and family members so here we have the radical change the radical change of life that is taking place in the disciples they follow jesus with total trust as they go off they have no idea where they are going or what it will entail them <clears throat> they believe in they believe in jesus put all their trust in him they were to meet many trials and tribulations on the way but they never regretted the step that they took only by following their example will we too have the same experience the only guarantee we have is that those who take those who did take Jesus call those who did answer his call seriously and lived it to the full know that they made the right choice so to be a true follower of Jesus i need the radical change in me and it has to occur constantly lord help me to follow you every day believing in believing in your words that only it has the power to grant me eternal life